another Sunday, another episode of Game of Thrones, and get you know, getting these little flashes of some uh, action here and there in the few episodes, but you know, more planning, more talking, more working towards the final few episodes. Um, this was episode six, so we have four more. Um, unbowed, unbent, unbroken. Uh, a few things happened. Um, Arya, still on Bravos, working, still washing those bodies that come through and wanting to learn what happens to them. Um, spoilers ahead, finally gets to see uh, towers underground with, or uh, not towers, but more pillars. Um, full of all the faces, I guess, of people that come through there, the heads, faces sticking out, and um, her training or whatever's going on there is advancing some. And, <coughs> you know, we'll see what happens to her, but it seems like she's being at least taken care of there. Um, Tyrion and Dror still. Walking towards Daenerys, eventually, uh, happened to come upon some slavers that were going to kill Tyrion, but they convinced them to keep him alive and keep Jor alive, and possibly take them to Daenerys herself. To hope—I mean, they haven't quite gone there yet, but <coughs> hopefully now they're on a boat, might uh, get them up there a little quicker. And Jorah might have to fight in the pits. So, the fighter slave pit thing. Um, still dealing with the grayscale, but it looks like it hasn't really spread much beyond, early and beyond that little spot on his wrist. Um, that was about it for Tyrion and Jorah this episode. Uh, had some problems in King's Landing with Marjorie and her. I guess brother, uh, Sir Loris, um, her mother came in, Oleana Tyrell, Queen of Thorns, to talk to Cersei about getting Sir Loris released, and apparently there's going to be like a small little hearing about kind of his relations with men, and there was one. And turns out they had a witness come in that said he was guilty of what they were charging him with. And uh, he was arrested and so was Marjorie for lying and seeing it and not saying anything about it. But I don't know, it's not looking good for either of them even though she's the queen. She's still going to be in trouble. Um, skipping the Dorn, Jamie, um, and his crime fighting partner got over there and found his daughter, who thinks she, um, he's her uncle, and they attempted to take her out of there, uh, take her away back home, but her boyfriend, fiance, whatever he is, uh, put up a little slight little fight and got a fat lip, but the interesting part was the, uh, Sand Snakes sisters, uh, all came in and one had a whip, one had a couple knives, one had like a spear and started to fight Jamie and the other guy, I can't remember his name, um, he'll come to me I'm sure, but that was, that was an interesting fight there, and Jamie and his buddy were taken into um, custody. Bron, that's the same Bron, taken into custody, and that'll be interesting to see what happens since Oberon's wife does not care for them, but the king there wants to keep the daughter safe. Uh, Jamie and Cersei's daughter safe. So, not sure quite how that's going to happen. Um, 
I guess there's a chance they're all gonna die. But I don't know, only time will tell. We have four episodes left. And uh also had the creepiest dude on the one of the creepiest dudes on the episode uh in the season that came into town talked to Cersei uh to tell her that uh Sansa is back in Winterfell and that they should um, Cersei should send an army over to Winterfell because there's going to be a fight and they, they'll be able to take over Winterfell and claim it as their own. But, I don't know, we'll see. Um, that'll be interesting. Because you know there's going to be a big battle there and uh Ramsey is going to help um fend off whatever he can but I'm not sure what's happening with him but he definitely he, uh I was Littlefinger talking to Cersei there I don't know if I said his name before but he is a schemer. He is playing all sorts of games there to try and further himself because um, he's trying to get name, you know, position and everything, and kind of is betraying Sansa. But he, it's this long game he was playing, and um, you know, Winterfell, Ramsay married Sansa, and the ending was very uncomfortable. I did not like the ending of this episode at all. Um, rather than played it differently. But Ramsey is a creep. He is horrible. I hope he gets a nasty, horrible, disgusting death. Painful and definitely deserves it. Especially after tonight. And hopefully it happens soon. But I'm going to call it here. And I'll see you all next time.